Hi, we're going to show you a bit, little bit about MailChimp and the eBlast program. First thing you want to do is make sure all your contacts are in there. So you go under All Contacts. We already went in there and we added the contract by contact by doing an import. So we already have a base in there. Now we want to add people. Let's say you met, met someone you want to get them signed up. If you're using for Threadfinders, you basically will type in their email address here, their company name, and then a hyphen along with their name. You would type it in those two spots and you just hit subscribe. Okay, and you'd also have to write, you know, click this button. The person uh, gave me permission. Okay. You can also do updates in here where you would go and find that person's email address and then you could hit this button to update their profile. So that's basically how you add a new email contact. If you want to do a campaign, you'll, be, oops, you'll go to campaigns, which is this little button here. And what I normally do is I will take an existing campaign and edit it. So for example, I could take this campaign right here and I'd replicate it and then I go in and make my changes. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll leave the same type of information in there for two or three campaigns um, just in case they didn't get that first one. So what you'll do here is you'll, in, in Threadbrander's case, uh, this one we're always going to do it to these 340 or whatever amount of subscribers that we have. Uh, you could have different lists if you had new customers. Uh, that's an option too. Um, and this one, in this case, we have it coming from porters at threadbrenders.com. You can change it if you needed to. And this here, you would edit the subject line. So for this one, we're going to say threadbrenders offers new third, I don't know, threadbrenders gets new success. And then this little preview is kind of what they'll see on their inbox leading up to um, before they click on it. So in here you might want to put a little description of what, what the email is about. Uh, a little teaser is always good here, like in quick term time, dot, dot, dot. So they, they know there's more that they want to they wanna see. So I'll go ahead and save that. Obviously I have to change that at some point. And then the next box down, so we went through these already, you edit the design. The reason I use this, you can also create a template um, but like I said, I like to reuse the actual uh, images two or three times um, in case I missed the first one. So my, my thread renders is already up at the top logo. And then I like this format. It says take advantage now of, and then I just have to edit this little, um, in, you know, little information or wording here. So in this case, I'll say, quicker turn times because a six head brand new one we should be able to get more work out quicker um, so then you just go ahead and save that and then you want to go to the next thing and we want to replace this so this is like the main body of it uh, I'll have to upload a new photo in this case I already kind of saved it so I'll go under quick That was a file I just made. Now, once you upload it here, it's going to stay here. So if I wanted to use it somewhere else, I could. Let's say I wanted it in the bottom corner. Um, the next time, I would take this one, and I would replace it here. So my next email, I could say, well, you know, in fact, let's do that. This is what I, this is what the main image for the last email I did. So I'll, now I'll make that come on, select it, hit insert. Okay, so now that's here. This is a free setup. I'm going to leave that. Um, I had that in there last time, so we'll just kind of keep that in there. So the customer will now see a new saying up here. They'll see something about our, our six head. 
they'll see your early cutoff time, which was in the main body last email I did, and they'll also see the free setup, which has been in there a couple times. Then I want to change the wording in here. So you'll click on this side of the screen. You go ahead and make your um, changes here. So you add that wording. You can also make it different colors. If you wanted to highlight that in red or something like that, or if you want to make it bold, um, you, can, you know, write justified. You can do stuff like that. Just look in here, and this will show you uh, everything that you can do. Okay. This example, I'm not going to make you wait for me to type all that out. And again, check out our website. I'll go ahead and leave that. Uh, as is, um, but you can always go ahead and uh, edit that if you wanted to. Um, but right now, if you click on that button, it's going to go to this website that I put in here. Okay. If I wanted to change this to something else, I could. So basically, you just got to follow. Always make sure you hit save uh, when you do each section. Okay. I can do it here just to make sure. And you'll go ahead and continue. Basically, now we have done um, all these things here. At this point, we can we can also preview this. Um, this information I really don't fill out. And then basically, you just hit the send button, and you're set to go. So I probably should show you. You go in to edit the design. You can go in and out. So this one I created, I'll probably go in in a week or so and tweak this. You can hit the preview button. If you want to see what this email would look like, uh, you can set a test email, but I'm just going to preview it. So this is how the email will be. As you see, I got a red in there and a rearranged placement. Other than that, you can, there's a lot of other things you can do. You can go in here and kind of play around with them. Just always make sure you create a new uh, a new replica of it, and then you can go ahead and test things out. That way you have um, you know, you kind of save your formatting and you didn't mess that up for your next email.